welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic. Today we are covering Furious 7. So if you haven't seen the other six movies, what we're going to do is cover everything that happened, who you need to know, and all the little details that make this such a fun franchise. So let's dive right in. We begin with Brian O'Connor, an undercover police officer, as he's attempting to infiltrate the street racing circuit of Los Angeles to find out who's responsible for a string of big rig thefts. He soon proves himself to Dominic Toretto, or Dom, who leads a small yet tight-knit group of racers and mechanics. In this group, we've got Dom's girlfriend Letty and Dom's sister Mia, whom Brian falls for. Everyone else dies or disappears for a while. Brian finally gets Dom in his sights and is supposed to bring him in, but chooses to give him the keys to a car so that Dom can escape. Obviously, Brian is no longer allowed to be a police officer, so he moves to Miami and dives headfirst into the underground street racing circuit, somewhat coordinated by mechanic Tej. It isn't long before the local police find out that he's there and rope him into helping them. Brian works with undercover cop Monica, who's gotten close to a local scumbag, to topple his whole regime. He can't do it alone, though, so Brian finds his old friend Roman Pierce. Together, they take down the whole operation and recover their old friendship. Now, during this time, Dom has been running from the police and has quite a price on his head. In an effort to clear his name, his girlfriend Letty reaches out to Brian and agrees to help take down a heroin dealer who runs drugs from Mexico into the U.S. Things go sideways and Letty is killed. Dom goes undercover to get revenge while Brian goes undercover to expose the dealer. Throughout this endeavor, we meet three individuals whom Dom has been working with, including the charismatic and talented driver Han. They successfully take down the dealer and manage to also befriend one of his former colleagues, Giselle. Brian also reunites with Dom's sister Mia, and they rekindle their old romance. Even though Dom helped to take down this dealer, a judge still considers him guilty and sends him to prison. On the way to prison, however, the bus full of inmates is attacked by Brian, Han, and some others. Dom is freed, and both Dom and Brian are now running from the law. Sometime later, Dom and Brian reunite, along with Mia, in Brazil. They are starting to run low on cash and decide to take on one of the richest men in Rio and orchestrate a huge plan to steal all of his cash. They need a huge team to do this, so they bring in a whole crew of their past associates, including Han, Roman, Tej, Giselle, and these two guys that never really got introductions but are kind of around for a few movies. Their gathering together in Brazil alerts the authorities who send their number one to bring them in and stop them once and for all. And here we meet Hobbs who arrives in Brazil with purpose. He recruits the local police, specifically a woman named Elena, who is the only officer quote-unquote he can't buy. Throughout the movie, they come to an uneasy agreement to work together to stop this crime boss. Dom and Elena begin a romance because, remember, Letty died, and they all successfully defeat the crime boss. Hobbs believes he recovers the money and gives Brian and Dom 24 hours before he begins hunting them down once more. After they leave the scene, he realizes he's been duped and they got away with all the money about $11 million each, so they can all live happily ever after. Throughout this adventure, Han and Giselle form a budding romance and drive off into the sunset together. Oh, and did I mention Mia is pregnant? She and Brian have a little baby. Now we cut back to Hobbs back at the FBI trying to figure out how to begin his search for Dom and Brian. We see Monica from way back in Too Fast, Too Furious walk in and give him information which reveals that Letty, the love of Dom's life, is still alive and was caught on camera in a crime spree in London. It turns out that Letty is working with a criminal mastermind by the name of Owen Shaw, who runs a crew of his own and has been stealing important technology all across Europe that, when put together, might cause a global catastrophe. It turns out that Shaw was also pulling the strings in Fast and Furious, giving orders to the heroin dealer that was running drugs across the border. To defeat them, Hobbs needs a crew that's even better, so he uses his info about Letty to convince Dom and Brian and the rest to go to London and try to take down Shaw. When Dom finds Letty, she doesn't remember him. It turns out that the explosion that should have killed her just threw her down a mountainside and gave her amnesia. Now, remember how Elena and Dom started a little something? Well, that's super awkward now that Letty's alive, so Elena basically bounces and goes back to helping Hobbs. Shaw confronts our heroes a few times, and he mentions his wise older brother, who comes off sounding like a complete badass. Anyways, that'll become important later. Hobbs and the crew manage to defeat Shaw's team on a freight airplane, including an epic flying clothesline that might be one of the coolest things in a movie ever. In this fight, though, Han and Giselle are trying to hold the plane down, and Giselle sacrifices her own life to save Han. In the end, Shaw is killed by being thrown from the plane, and everyone else makes it out safe. Letty doesn't remember everything, but she says being with Dom feels like home. As a reward for stopping Shaw, Hobbs offers full pardons to everyone involved. Now Han, to escape the thoughts of his lost love, moves to Tokyo. 
where he befriends local hotshot and drift king DK. It isn't long before American racer Sean Boswell arrives on the scene and struggles to learn how to drift and compete with the local talent. Along with his friend Twinkie, he starts to acclimate and luckily Han sees potential and helps the poor kid. During an epic chase through the city streets of Tokyo though, Han is blindsided by the older brother of Owen Shaw, Deckard, who is now on a revenge killing spree. Han is killed in the explosion while Deckard calls Dominic and tells him that he's next. And that's where we join Fury 7 hitting theaters in the U.S. on April 3rd, where Deckard Shaw will systematically try to take out everyone involved in the death of his brother. So thanks for watching. Make sure you catch Fury 7 and make sure you like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Thanks for watching.